Hello my dear students. How are you all? Hope all of you are well by God's grace. This is me, Shushmita Chakraborty from Sector 30, going to conduct an English class today. Welcome you all to our online class of my study school and college. So today uh, I will going to, I am going to discuss about a new lesson. But before going to our new lesson, I would like to ask you some questions from our previous lesson. As I feel that you all you are watching the video classes regularly, so you won't have any problem to answer me properly. So let's start. So as you have already read in the model question number 3 and model question number 4, where you have got some passages from uh, English for Today book. So I will uh, ask you some questions related to those passages. So get ready for this. Yes. The first question is here for you. Yes. Who is Rahul? What will be the answer? Rahul is a folk singer who loves to sing folk songs. Okay. Fine. You, uh, you can reply well. That means you are studying properly. Let's go for the next question. Yes. Which uh, kind of album has got a hit? Okay. Which kind of album of Rahul has got a hit? Yes, it will be Lalon's song. So, how will you start? That Rahul's uh, one of the album which has been released on Lalon's song has got a hit. Okay, so this way you can answer. You can write down the answer this way and you will get the marks. Now, the next question. Yes, what it is? See, who is Manjur? You all know. Manjur is a boy of government high school of Rajbari. Yes, so that's good that you are uh, replying well. Now, let's go for the last question for you. Yes, tell me, why Raj congratulated Manjur? Yes, tell me the answer. Yes, Raz congratulated Mansur because of um, what? Because of winning the first prize in inter essay competition. So who won it? Yes, Mansur won the first prize in inter essay competition in his school, and that's why Raj congratulated him. So that's all for uh, today about asking the previous lesson. Now we can go to our today's lesson. But before going to this, I want to say uh, about something that you know. Okay. Uh, can you tell me how do you feel while you plant trees? Yes, I know that you must be feeling very good. Yes, whenever I also plant any tree, I feel very good. And if we destroy the trees, if we cut down the trees, Will it be good for our uh, nature, for our environment? No. So, we should not cut down the trees. Even if we cut down any trees, we need to plant more trees. So, I think by this time you have already got to know what will be our today's lesson. And yes, it will be about tree plantation and it is paragraph. Okay, it is a paragraph. Today, in today's class, you will get to know how to write a paragraph. Okay. So let's go for it. So students, now we will get to know about paragraph writing. Okay. So give your concentration here properly. So what comes first? So when you will start writing paragraph, which things you need to know? Which things you need to follow? We will get to know about this. Okay. So, think of the most important part of a paragraph. You must have to think how you will start. Okay. So, let's see. What will be the structure of a paragraph? Yes. And uh, in the 5 also you have written paragraph. But maybe you don't have the knowledge. What are the structures? How it is made? Or which parts are maintained here? But here you need to know about the thing more now see a paragraph has three parts that will be maintained in your writing 
okay what are the things let's uh, see the topic sentence what is the thing the first thing is topic sentence what it is topic sentence is the main idea of the paragraph so what thing this is the main idea what uh, what are the things what you are going to say you will have to say by this sentence at first at the you will introduce the whole thing through this topic sentence okay so what is the topic sentence by which you will express the main idea tells the reader reader what the paragraph is about so through this thing we may say the reader the one who is reading the paragraph we may say we may tell them what the paragraph is about or that means what we are going to discuss what we are going to explain at the uh, introduction we will give it okay so that is called what the topic sentence now see the supporting sentences so by this sentence we can uh, by this statement we can understand that it will obviously give some support to to whom it will give support or to which thing it will give support obviously it will support the topic sentence the introductory sentence such as i have started with a sentence the the supporting sentences will develop the idea that has been introduced in the beginning okay that is called the supporting sentences so what it is add the details of the main idea the topic sentence will be described will be explained by the supporting sentences here it will be much more what described or explained so that means the details will be given through these supporting sentences now see uh, the concluding sentence we can understand whenever we will write anything we must have to give one conclusion otherwise it will not be a good thing good one good writing okay so conclusion concluding sentence is also one of the part while you will write a paragraph so what is the thing summarizes the main points or rephrases the topic sentence the way you will start it you will share the same idea but your way your expression your words may change here okay but here you will actually summarize the main points and rephrases the topic sentence so you should not just complete it or you should stop it all on a sudden it should have a <clears throat> good conclusion okay it should have a good conclusion otherwise it will never be a good writing so you must have to uh, go through all this thing now let's go for the next thing qualities of a good paragraph okay we have got to know about which part we will maintain that are three things are there now it is about the qualities which thing which qualities which features which attributes can make a paragraph a good one okay so see unity oneness of thoughts of the paragraph that means while you are writing there will have a unity of writing what how can you understand that unity that means it will not be scattering you will not feel that uh, all on a sudden one topic has come or you will not think that uh, while you are giving the supporting details while you are giving the at first you will have to give the topic sentence and then you will have to give the supporting details and you will have to give a what you will have to give a good conclusion while you will mix up all these things in one paragraph that then there will have unity okay so all the things will be in one pattern the pattern should be maintained that time it is called what oneness of thoughts of the paragraph that yes things are very much clear to everyone okay it will not be something that yes not uh, something related to the topic it should not be like that okay so that is called unity now see coherence logical order of the ideas whenever you are writing about any paragraph you will have to give a order such as if you are writing about global warming 
then you will have to say what is global warming why does it happen if it happens then what happens and what will happen next then you will say that uh, how we can stop it or how can we prevent it or how can we actually uh, make less uh, problem or how can we prevent the thing okay so this way there will have a order whenever you are writing a paragraph there will have a logical order that you will have to maintain so that is called what that is called coherence so what we have got we have got unity now we have got coherence so coherence what does coherence mean that there will have a logical word order okay you cannot write anything that uh, which where you will feel that things are not related these are scattered it's, it should not be felt so that is called coherence emphasis emphasis means what forcing someone it's kind of that but here what it is emphasis mean actually giving the importance of something okay uh, giving the strength on something so oh, see here prominence given to the most important ideas of the text such as if you are writing um, global warming then you will have to um, say about who about the all things related to this matter why it is happening okay why and what are the things which we may face due to this global warming all these things should be very much important here so these things should be given priority and the at first which thing should be told what is global warming you will have to explain that thing properly so if global warming comes that time you will have to say this way if it is tree plantation then you will have to say what is tree plantation then uh, how tree helps us how planting trees helps us uh, in uh, in our personal life what are the advantages of it or what are the advantages of planting trees what are the disadvantages whether it has any disadvantages or not or if we cut down trees then what may happen so all these things should be written there and the emphasis should be given to write down all the about all the uh, about writing all the important ideas to the text <coughs> sorry now see linkers what does it mean linkers that means cause and effect that it now what does it mean that what are the things why the things have happened this is called cause okay and effect what are the results so reasons and the results whenever you will get uh, that you, you need to write you need to express about any cause and effect that time you need to use some words by which you can make it much more sophisticated much more well now see like as a result like because like hence since so then for difference to show any difference what will you use although but however instead though so this way you will have to write down you will have to show the differences then importance what is the thing the importance at first so here you will have to write it while you some such as you are writing something logically okay so here you will have to write at first it happened last it happened but at uh, least in list we can see this okay most important the most important thing is that next at next uh, that thing has happened so this way you may write down the thing while you need to or while you are emphasizing uh, emphasizing that about the importance okay while you are giving uh, the emphasis on importance that time you, you may use these kinds of words now let's see the next that is place if you are mentioning about place that time you will have to say above or around or behind then here then nearby okay that way you will have to write down the words 
about mentioning the place then similarity what are similarities means it will not be same but there is some something which is quite same not exactly same but almost same okay now see also another and in addition to like and the next thing is see time whenever you are referring about time you will have to write about after before then when finally etc so you have already got to know about the linkers how you will use while it is about cause and effect you will have to write some words while it is about differences then some other words you will have to use while it is about importance that time you will have to for um, mentioning it chronologically or mentioning it severely you may write at first secondly last least most importantly at ne uh, next so this way you may explain the things okay so i think you don't have uh, any you don't have any problem to understand about using these linkers okay so let's go for the next okay students now see we will get to know about the types of paragraph actually there were some types of paragraph some we uh, at most times we write down the paragraphs but we don't know about the types okay the first is descriptive what does it mean that means here you will just describe something like it is if uh, it, it can be about anything where you just need to describe the things such as your mother your father so that is something that where you will just give all the details you will uh, give the description you will describe only okay and the next thing is what informative such as if it is about covid 19 so you must have the informations without having the informations you can't write down this paragraph so you will have to write down any uh, a paragraph with informations which will be called informative okay such as if you are writing in covid 19 uh like it has been started from 2012 will it be a correct information no so you'll have to give the correct information there so the uh, from where it has been started if you write that uh, from us it has been started so it will not be informative one okay because all are uh, actually known about this it is known to all all know about this thing so the thing is that you will have to think about the thing while you are writing any informative paragraph you can give the details uh, or you can't give any wrong details or any confusing information there for writing that paragraph now the next thing that is persuasive what does it mean that means there will have a logical order okay there will have arguments in your like you are not quarreling with someone but you will have to give some order some logical things by which you are approving the things such as bad impacts of the paragraph is like that uh, importance of newspaper or the paragraph is uh, like about the bad impacts of global warming that time you will have to logically give all the things there okay logical arguments will be there that is called persuasive the next one is what narrative what it is actually it is kind of uh, a story type writing okay such as your vacation your last winter season so these way you may here you may write anything whatever you wish with uh, but there may have some like you will have to maintain topic sentence supporting details and conclusion but you may write the uh, according to the according to that concept according to the thing which has been uh, told or which has been asked to write so these are called what these are called the types of paragraph so how many types of paragraph we have got yes four types of paragraph we have already got to know so what are they descriptive informative persuasive and narrative okay 
So, do we have any problem to understand this thing? No. We have already got to know there are the types of paragraph. That is descriptive, informative, persuasive and what? The another one is narrative. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> let us go for the next. What it is? Uh, see here, that is your classwork. Okay. It is about paragraph. As I have uh, by this time made you understand how to write a paragraph. So, I hope you won't have uh, any problem to understand today's uh, topic that is about tree plantation as I have already told you that here you uh, have to write this thing within uh, 15 to just quite like 12 to 15 sentence. Even if you are writing 10 sentences, that time even you will have to write at least 150 words. Okay. So, the thing is that you will not write it very, um, in a very uh, small sentences. Like, it will be, it will not be like class 5's paragraph writing. Okay. So, you will have to write little bit more here. Because now you have grown up, your, you are in class 6. So, your study lines will also be changed here. So, now see here, write a paragraph about tree plantation. Well, whenever you will be asked to write any paragraph, that time you may get some con uh, clues there or there may have no clues okay so if uh, there are some clues like what is tree plantation uh, why do we plant trees how trees uh, help us in our regular works or in our regular life what are the advantages uh, is there any disadvantage of tree plantation or cutting down the trees so this way the question may there okay to give you the clues but you will not write down the uh, thing as question answer you will have to write all the things all the answers which has been asked or which question has been given as the clues you will have to write all things all these things together okay you'll have to explain it all together now let's go for the next thing see what it is uh, see Tree plantation means planting trees. So it has been written for you. You will learn it from your Navodut book also. It, has, it is also, you can also get it there. Okay. So what is tree plantation? Tree plantation means planting trees. We need to plant trees because tree plays an important role in our life. It gives us food, oxygen and fuel. Yes. What do we do with fuel? We can use it for cooking or for any other work okay if there were no trees there would be no oxygen and life would cease to exist okay so what has been told that if there would be no oxygen then it would be very much difficult for the people to exist okay because uh, if we do not get oxygen then we cannot survive and without the existence of tree it will not be possible for us to get the what to get oxygen now see the effect of the loss of trees is very dangerous because the loss of trees means great harm to life it leads to drought drought means there will be no uh, rain and uh, due to this the whole land will be dry and it uh, there would have no um, the, the land will not be used for farming anymore and no crops can be um, can come out from there and so other um, problems and so many other problems may happen due to this it leads to drought and starvation that has been told that if it is drought that time no food crops will get and it uh, creates hunger among the people so, to save mankind, forests should be preserved. We, so, we'll have to always protect it. We should always keep it safe. What? Forests, woods. Now, see, trees help us a lot. They protect the soil and cause rainfall. So, see, it is also helping what? The soil. Okay. 
without trees our country will turn into a desert if there is no tree that time it will be what it will be called desert a place of soil without any tree okay and in desert area the quantity of raining is very less okay it is hardly seen that means not uh, it is very much rare trees also supply us with medicines and other important things so what do we get from there we get medicine and other important things if we go on cutting trees birds and beasts will have no place to live in and wildlife will be and wildlife will be extinct that time it will be destroyed that means birds and the other animals and the wildlife the things the animals those who are living in uh, forest areas these will be destroyed this will be extinct there will have no uh, name no um, signs of living at the time okay and the balance of nature will be disturbed but we can make the earth greener if we plant more trees so to save mankind forest should be preserved deforestation should be discouraged that means we should not cut down trees and if we cut down trees we should plant more trees okay awareness about the importance of trees has to be developed to keep the earth greener cleaner and safer for the future so these way if you write you will get a good marks and see what we should uh, how uh, as you have already got to know how we should have to write down the things now we will get to know which things we should not do while we will write any paragraph okay so see writing a paragraph using many paragraphs such as you are asked to write one paragraph on uh, having one topic like tree plantation so if you are write if you write it in so many paragraphs like for one para then again next para then third para then fourth para then you will get a big zero there okay because while it will be called paragraph that means only one paragraph will be there where you will maintain all the things which has been told like the structure will be maintained where you will give the topic sentence supporting details and the concluding sentence but all things will be in one paragraph not more than one then writing the title of the paragraph using underline or inverted comma or in italic font so we will not write it in slanting way that is called italic font another thing is that while we will write any paragraph we will not put any inverted comma there okay it's a wrong thing putting inverted comma there it's a wrong thing sometimes you like to give it you think that this is the thing you can give and it will uh, you feel that it may uh, make it much more good but it's not like that so you cannot use these kinds of thing there and you cannot also underline the thing the last thing that is starting a paragraph without topic sentence such as you have been uh, told to write about tree plantation so if you are writing we if we uh, cut down the trees that time it may create different kinds of problem if you write in this way then you will not get marks so as it has been started as the topic is tree plantation you must have to start with that thing you will have to introduce about tree plantation first then you can uh, explain about the other things okay so you must have to maintain all these things while you will write down the word write, write down paragraph so which thing you will maintain that write in one paragraph you will not put any inverted comma in underline or any italic font and you will write it in topic sentence you must start it with a topic sentence and you must complete uh, with a good concluding sentence so that's all about paragraph i hope uh, you don't have any problem to understand this thing of uh, this part you have i think no so just go through the lesson properly if you have any problem okay my dear students so by this time you have already got to know about how to write a paragraph 
and particularly about tree plantation. So I hope you are uh, you don't have any problem to understand this thing that how you will present how you will write if you are asked to write a paragraph. So now this is the time to see that how much you have understood from this discussion. So uh, let me check. Now tell me how many parts will be there in one paragraph? Yes, three parts will be there in one paragraph. That means three, three parts will be maintained. What it will be? That is topic sentence, then supporting ideas or the details of the whole paragraph and the what and the uh, concluding sentence. That means the ending part. And all of these three parts will be written in one paragraph, not in different paragraphs. So where, while you will be asked to write one paragraph, there will be only one paragraph, not more than this. And all the things will be described, all the things will be explained in one paragraph. Okay, now let's go for the next question. What is called topic sentence? Yes, you all know. Topic sentence means the main idea of the topic given. Okay. So, the topic which will be given to you, the main idea or the main thing about which thing you will write, you will describe the, uh, in the at the first sentence you will give the introduction and it will be called the topic sentence. Now, tell me the last question answer. Okay. What, uh, how will you start the topic sentence of tree plantation? So the question may this way, may come this way that what will be the topic sentence of tree plantation? Yes, you must be starting with what tree plantation means or tree plantation is planting trees. Okay, so how can you start? Tree plantation means planting trees trees in our surrounding in different places okay so you will have to start the thing about the matter you have been asked to and in this way you can tell the you can uh, just develop the ideas now the last question for you what will you write in supporting ideas or in supporting detail yes you will have to Explain about all necessities, about advantages, disadvantages, the uses, all the things or how it is related to our life. Okay, All these things you will have to explain in supporting details. So, this way you can write a paragraph properly. And whenever you will be asked to write a paragraph, you must have to go through all these things. That time your paragraph will be a good one. Okay, so that's all for today. Now, this is the time to give you your homework. So, all of you open your diary and write down the homework. Okay, so what will be your homework? You will learn this paragraph that is tree plantation that uh, you have already gone through by this time. You will learn it and write it in your copy. And you will get some of the clues in your book also in Novodu. So, you can also um, follow those clues while you are writing but all uh, of the clues answers will be written in one paragraph don't make it separate okay that's all for today bye bye have a good day